Hello viewers, today we are going to make an unique dashboard using Microsoft Excel. The base of the dashboard will be movie database. This is very easy to make. Just watch the full video and you will be able to make it by your own. I will give you the free file so that you can make some practices with this data by making the same dashboard. So let's enjoy the video. So let's look at the dashboard. You can see here's the number of total movies by year. Here is the top actor. Here is the total movie released on that year or on that genre. Top revenue, top budget, top five grossing movie. This is the popularity trend for like action movie, for like animation movie, etc. And here is the top rate genre. The top score movie on that section. Uh, you can take it from on that year. So this is the portion uh, movies genre in the market and this is the budget versus revenue and all of these interesting facts you should check it. You can multi select it from the both sides. Enjoy the video. First of all look at the database. We will work and we will make our dashboard using this database. This is a huge database of movie from 1922 to 2015. I have downloaded it from IMDb. So you can see there's title, release date, genre, language, country, lead actor, director name, IMDb score, duration of the movie, revenue and budget. So we can make lots of things from this. So before we start the dashboard, I have to say one more thing that this data is in normal range so we have to convert it into table range by pressing ctrl t i always prefer to make a table before start the dashboard processing because table update the range automatically otherwise it will be a manual step which your dashboard will not be updated automatically so this is this is the first step basically we will create our dashboard in five steps first step is our dashboard database so this is the database of a dashboard secondly we will create some pivot table and after that we will design our structure of the dashboard and then we will insert and create some charts and infographics at last we will make some slicer and overall design making so this is how we will start our dashboard make in our dashboard we will insert or create 12 charts and infographics for all of those I will create a single sheet for each and every charts and infographics so that you can understand it in a better way so let's start now I will insert a pivot table and my pivot table is done now I will make a copy of it I will paste it, it in all the sheets. I can do it manually or I can do it in a very fast way by clicking shift and the last sheet then control V and it will be copied in all the sheets. This is the shortcut for copy paste. The same thing in several sheets. Now I'll change the name of the sheets according to the charts and infographics that I will create there. So first one is number of total movies by year, then longest duration, top genre, movie released, number of movie released rated highly rated genre then popularity of the genre and then top actor and then top budget then top revenue maximum rating top 5 gro grossing 
and last one is revenue versus budget so these are the charts and infographics we will make our second task which is pivot table making and this is done now we will go forward to our design which is the third step of our dashboard making and this is the most crucial part part of our dashboard making because this is the theme so let's begin at first we will insert a sheet we will name it dashboard this is where all of our charts and infographics will be shown so at first I will copy this picture I'll give you the file so you can use this picture or you can download as like as you want and you can set your own theme I will start doing by taking some shapes then I'll shape the format I'll fill the color with 134 35 and a blue with 173 this is the color we will use for line we will give no line now we will make some copy of it before that we have to insert some background for our theme uh, I have chosen this one it will look nice I think so I will drag it a little bit in this side and I will crop it I will crop it Theme is ready now I'll format this picture I'll dim the brightness with 75 it would be minus 75 percent yes For this one I'll give some gradient fill mm, I think this one it's looking nice but now it's looking better now again I'll insert some shape I'll give a feel with this fill outline low outline and I'll make it transparent to 65 percent I'll drag it down I'll make another shape with this I think this is okay and I'll copy it and again I'll paste it in then I'll make another copy of this I'll continue this here you can make different shapes to differentiate the design you can also change the color of the shapes to change the theme now I will insert some shapes to give some title for fill I will give no fill for outline I will give no outline and I will give the titles number of total 
movies by here so this is our first title I will format it now for font I will give I'll give this font and with 12 I'll bold it now I'll just copy and paste it in all the shapes now I'll change the name and I'll give a name for every shapes where the charts will be so our title giving has done now we will add some shapes and clippers to make it look more beautiful I have some shapes here I'll just copy and paste it here all of these are royalty free you can take any of this and you can use it as like you wish or you can download uh, So this is it now we will go forward to insert our charts so the designing of our dashboard making is done you can design as like you want with other themes with other wallpaper or any other shapes and charts so this is from my part now I will go my uh, fourth part which is charts and infographics part I will I will create and insert charts in my dashboard which will be dynamic so let's go at first we'll start with number of total movies by year for that i will analyze i'll go to field list i'll give a release date i'll remove quarter and release date i'll keep on the year the title i'll go to insert i'll create a chart that will be normal chart i'll remove the title I will also remove all the buttons from the charts. I will remove the grid lines. I will format axis. I will go to level a specific number with 6. Okay, now I will copy it or I can directly move it to my dashboard. Here it is moved into my dashboard. Now I will format it with no fill outline same as like no outline i'll color it with white and bold i'll do same for this now i will copy it here i'll drag it till this point and i'll also drag it till this point i'll drag it here to give some more space then I will format this series with a color of white I think white would be beautiful here or I can fill it with fill it with yellow it wouldn't not look bad now I will go to duration I'll go to analyze I'll give the title here and I'll give the duration here I'll filter it with top 10 filter I'll keep only the first filter then I'll do with this data now I'll go to dashboard I'll click here I'll link this cell with this one I will 
I'll change the color with yellow color I'll bold it I'll bold it and I will make a give effect shadow effect so it will it is looking nice I'll insert a text box text box I'll link this text box with this data then I'll pick here I'll make it bolder and bigger I'll format it with shape fill with no fill yes it is looking better now I'm making it a little bit bigger so that it look nice for outline I'll give no outline so this is our minute then I will go for top genre I'll go to analyze I'll give genre the revenue I'll keep only top five or I can keep top six then I'll make a chart from here okay the chart is not going on because it cannot pull the data from the it cannot pull data directly from people table so we have to take a shortcut we have to take a shortcut and we have taken it I will move this chart to my dashboard I will keep it here I'll format this chart at the last of this video because this charts have something fun to do this is all for the first part check the second part to watch the full tutorial the link is in the description thanks for watching the video and don't forget to subscribe the channel.